With this in mind, your next assignment requires you to use the data file you've parsed to render the few images on the screen. You're going to need to fill out the two functions below to properly draw images on the screen. Now before you get started, let's talk about something real quick. Note that before now, your artists were actually generating assets referencing loose files. An artist creates some sort of texture, they put it on disk, and then they reference an object to that texture. Well, of course, as a post-process, we've all crammed that into a small little box, and we now have a missing correlation. The artist file is still going to reference the loose asset, but we've got it sitting around in a larger texture. How do we make a connection between the two? The draw sprite function needs to fix this. It assumes that it's going to be given a sprite name, which represents the name of the loose asset file, as well as the position x and position y on where it wants to render it on the canvas. Since we're just given a sprite name, we need to map where that sprite name exists inside of the atlases that we've loaded. Now, for your benefit, we're going to help you out with this. Taking a look at the top of the file, we define a global dictionary object that represents every sprite sheet that's been loaded. In the load function for a sprite sheet, we go ahead and add this sprite sheet into the global array, setting the sheet name as the key for the dictionary element. What this will allow you to do is when you're given the sprite name inside of the draw function, you can iterate through all of the sprite sheets and for each sprite sheet, determine whether or not the given sprite name exists in the sprites that have been defined for that sheet. This should be pretty straightforward since we've already covered the define sprite function, and you already have a list that includes a name. Once the draw sprite function figures out what atlas this given sprite is actually in, it can pass that data to draw sprite internal, handing off the sprite information, what atlas sheet it's coming from, as well as the position x and y that was given to us from draw sprite. Draw Sprite Internal should actually do the heavy lifting of positioning the element and drawing it to the world, taking advantage of the Draw Image API that we just covered with all of its new fancy bells and whistle parameters. 